In this recording, I'll work a few uh, free fall examples. Okay, let's start with this one. A ball was thrown upwards at 25 meters per second. What is the initial velocity? That's given, that's easy. It is, it is thrown at 25 meters per second and upwards. Upwards means that the sign is positive and then the magnitude is 25 meters per second. So that's my initial velocity. My VI is plus 25 meters per second. What is its velocity when at the top position? Now, if you consider an object moving up and then down, they're asking about the velocity at the top position. What determines the top position is actually the object momentarily stopping to start falling back. What happens whenever we throw an object up? Its velocity is pointing in the upward direction. That's my 25 meters per second. And it's going to slow down at 10 meters per second every second since the acceleration is minus 10 meters per second squared. We know it's going to slow down because the velocity is up and the acceleration is down. Now, every second it's going to slow down by 10 meters per second. So it's going to slow down, momentarily stop here, and then it's going to have a zero velocity at the top, zero velocity at the top, and then it's going to speed up again because now the acceleration is still downward at 10 meters per second squared is going to change that velocity every second by 10 meters per second in the downward direction. In other words, trying to re-say what I just said, the 10 meter per second squared acceleration changes the velocity by 10 meter per second in the downward direction any second at any time. So the velocity at the top is zero. Now, what's its velocity one second after being thrown? That's, we use the equation, V at one second is equal V initial plus 80. So, in this case, that's going to be plus 25 meter per second plus minus 10 meter per second squared times T, which is one second. So we have plus 25 minus 10, so it's going to be plus 15 meter per second. So it's still going up at 15, meter per, uh, 15 meters per second. What's its velocity five seconds after being thrown? So velocity at five seconds. So we do the same thing, VI plus ATE. And in this case, that's going to be plus 25 meter per second minus 10 meter per second squared times 5 seconds. So plus 25 minus 50, so it is minus 25 meter per second. Okay, now one thing is curious here. One thing that's worth noting, whenever we throw an object upwards, since its acceleration is the same in the motion up as the motion down, what that means is, if I'm at the same level, I'm going to have the same speed. If I'm moving up here at 10 meters per second, I will be moving down and the way down at 10 meters per second. I'm going to have the same speed at the same level. If I, uh, if I have here 25 meters per second and the way down I'll have 25 meters per second uh, at that same level. So actually we can show it, we can prove it, but uh, uh, here it tells us after five seconds we are going to be at minus 25 meters per second. What I'm telling you here, it's going to be at the same level there at minus 25 meters per second. 
I'm going to just take a shortcut uh, and prove it anyway for you so we uh, we will not be in doubt so to prove it I'm going to calculate the displacement at 5 seconds so to do that I'm going to write the displacement equation which is one half of a t squared plus v i t so in this case that's going to be one half minus ten meter per second squared times five seconds squared plus v i which is plus twenty five meter per second times five seconds so what do we have five seconds squared times five uh, times ten so it's twenty five times ten two fifty over to 125 with a minus sign so minus 125 meters plus 5 times 25 125 meters so it is equal to zero so at 5 seconds my displacement is zero meaning that the ball comes back to the original position okay again I was trying to prove to you there that when it's going to have a speed of 25 meters per second is going to ha be at the same level uh, as the level we threw it from. Okay. Just a few things.